Hi, I'm Jane Paulson. I'm the Principal Investigator of the PREDICT HD study. CSF, or Cerebral Spinal Fluid, is the fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. For this reason, it's potentially a wealth of knowledge for advancements in Huntington's disease. Since CSF surrounds the brain, we can access the biochemical events that are happening in the brains of living people, but it's the only real way to look at brain chemicals in a living person, and we see this as a tremendous opportunity. We think that by examining the proteins and molecules in CSF, we may further understand HD and how it progresses. We could potentially learn new information that would allow for the development of new methods to diagnose and treat HD. We're looking to identify early changes in molecules and proteins found in CSF years before a person has been diagnosed clinically with HD, like we already have found with changes in thinking ability and other changes in the brain. And we also want to see if the proteins and molecules change with HD progression, so we could eventually see if those changes would respond to treatment in a future clinical trial. In the past few years, the National Institute of Health has made it a priority to gather CSF to better understand biological markers for all of the neurodegenerative diseases. Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease have been collecting CSF samples for many years now. They have shown that the acquisition of these new samples has led to an explosion of research findings for them to better understand how that disease presents itself and how the disease progresses. This type of information leads to drug discovery and development efforts to intervene in these brain diseases in a way that can really make a difference for persons with the disease. In a similar vein, we, the Huntington's disease community, need to collect CSF so that we can better understand this disease and how it leaves its signature in the CSF so that we can examine throughout the disease course how the brain changes and how we can intervene for our families with Huntington's disease. CSF is collected through a spinal tap procedure, also known as a lumbar puncture, which is a generally safe and routine procedure. Before undergoing the procedure, we will have a doctor give you a complete physical and neurological exam to make sure it is safe for you to undergo a spinal tap. During the procedure, you'll be asked to sit or lie in a position that makes it easier for the doctor to collect the CSF. The doctor will then inject a local anesthetic or numbing medicine into the skin on your lower back and you'll feel a brief pinch or sting from the injection. Once the area is numb, the doctor will insert a very thin needle into the spinal canal in the lower back at the level where the spinal cord ends. The doctor may need to move the needle slightly or try again if he or she isn't able to collect enough fluid. Though the part of your back where the needle goes in will be numb, you may feel a brief pressure when it's first inserted or if it's repositioned. Complications during the procedure may include headache, nausea, leg pain, or a brief period of double vision. We'll want you to tell the doctor if you aren't feeling well during the spinal tap so we can add more numbing medicine and try and make you feel more comfortable or stop the procedure if necessary. Both preparation for the procedure and extraction of the CSF once the spinal needle is in place average about 15 minutes each. After the spinal tap is over, we'll have you rest in the clinic for about an hour and we'll give you something to eat and drink. You shouldn't do any tiring physical activity for 24 hours after the spinal tap, but you'll be able to travel in a car or on a plane that same day. Um, when the spinal tap was first brought up, I really had no clue what it was. I, I had never heard of it before. I had never seen it, had anyone uh, that I know ever done it. Um, so I did, I looked it up a little bit, and I did learn a little bit, and uh, it, it seemed like a very safe procedure, a very common procedure. 
Um, so it was fun to also, you know, learn why it was done and uh, also the importance it has to this, this study here at Iowa and really around the world to, to help patients with Huntington's disease. So um, it was great to be a part of and, and learn more about. So there were really three points uh, during the procedure that, that, that gave you some type of feeling that wasn't normal. Number one was when uh, they put the cleaning stuff on your back and that was just to make sure everything was sterile. Uh, number two was when they put uh, the numbing medication in your back uh, and that stung a little bit, I'm not going to lie, uh, but they warned me, they told me this was going to sting and it was exactly as, it, as I expected and uh, it was comparable to getting your blood drawn, uh, the little pinch of a needle, but it was in your back. and you know, no tears were shed and, uh, you know, it was okay. And then the third was when they put the actual uh, spinal tap needle in my back. Uh, and, and really because of the, the numbing medication, you really couldn't feel that, that uh, needle at all. Um, it wasn't sharp, it didn't hurt, there was no pain. Uh, you could feel a little, uh, I don't know, a little scratch almost is what you could feel, but uh, it wasn't uncomfortable, um, it was very easy, and uh, it was a very smooth procedure. If someone would ask me about it, I'd tell them, do it. Um, why? Because one, there's no pain, uh, relatively no pain. Um, number two, it's pretty quick and pretty easy. And number three, you're going to be making an impact potentially either for yourself, your family, or you know, people around the world and, and future generations. And to be able to have that impact um, is really a, a nice feeling. We think that the analysis of CSF holds a great deal of promise to advancing treatments for Huntington's disease. We can't do it alone in the research lab, however. We are thankful to the research participants who, for their willingness to consider volunteering CSF so that we can advance treatments for Huntington's disease. Participation in the CSF collection is optional. We're confident that the spinal tap is a routine and safe procedure but if someone doesn't want to do it, we're happy to have them continue on with participating by doing the other important elements of the PREDICT HD visit. Thank you goes out to all the PREDICT participants for their willingness to be in this research study. I again thank you for your willingness to consider a spinal tap as part of the study protocol this year. I want to encourage you to ask any questions that you have we remain open and willing to listen to your concerns and hopefully to address any question you may have. Regardless, I want to thank you again for your ongoing volunteerism. Thank you.